Azure Blob Storage offers a simple way to store files such as images or JSON data in the cloud. This tutorial will teach you how to write data to Azure Blob Storage from a C-Sharp application. Hi, and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, I'm a software engineer with more than 10 years of experience with the .NET platform. On this channel, you'll learn all about .NET development. Before jumping into Visual Studio, we need to create an Azure Storage account. In the Azure portal, create a new resource and create a storage account. It's usually listed in the list of popular products. First, select your subscription and resource group. We're going to create a new resource group and name it Blob Storage. Next, we need to provide a globally unique storage account name. We go with Blob Storage 3, we choose West Europe as the region and use the standard performance tier. We choose Locally Redundant Storage, LRS. Both are the cheapest options at the time of recording this tutorial. Performance and redundancy are out of the scope of this tutorial. Make sure you understand the differences in terms of cost as I am not responsible for your spending. In the Advanced tab, you can enable and disable different options. For example, you can disable the public blob access. That's what we do for this tutorial. For everything else, we use the default selection. The other tabs contain additional configuration options that we don't need to change for this tutorial. We click on the Review and Create button to review our service configuration and create the Azure Storage account. When Azure has completed the operation, we open the Containers menu and create the container that will hold our data. We click to open the new container dialog in the toolbar and provide a name. We choose file upload as the container name. The name has to be unique within the storage account. We click on create and wait for Azure to finish the operation. Before we start development, we open the access keys menu and click on the show keys toolbar action. We then copy the connection string of key one into the clipboard. In Visual Studio, I created a C Sharp console application. The new .NET 6 project templates uses top level statements. If you aren't familiar with the new .NET 6 features, check out the video popping up in the right corner of the screen. First, we open the NuGet package manager and install the azure.storage.blobs package. After the installation is completed, we open the program.cs again and define two variables. First, we create a blob storage connection string variable and insert the connection string we copied from the Azure portal. Second, we create a blob storage container name variable and assign the container's name, in our case, file upload. Next, we add a using statement for the azure.storage.blobs namespace. Below the variable definitions, we define a container variable and assign an instance of the blob container client. The first argument is the connection string and the second argument is the container name. Next, we create a blob variable and call the getBlobClient method on the container object. As the only argument, we provide the desired name of the blob. In this tutorial, I load an image from the hard drive, but you can also use any other stream or string and save it to the blob. I create a stream variable and use the file.openread method and provide the name of the file resource. Now we await the blob.uploadAsync method and provide the stream as its argument. This line will finally upload the data onto the storage account. Now let's build and run the application. At least we don't get any exceptions and the program completes with the upload completed message in the console. Now that we uploaded the data to the Azure storage account, Let's open the Azure portal to verify the upload. Open the Containers menu in the Storage account and click on the File Upload container. A list of all the blobs appears. We click on the nature.jpg blob to get more details and download it using the toolbar action. The browser downloads the file to the local disk. I open it and we see this beautiful image. Azure Blob Storage offers more advanced features for different scenarios. You can read about it on the official documentation 
linked in the video description. Subscribe to this channel to learn more about .NET development. On the right side, you see a video that YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.